Craig Richards. He faces for the first time a world title and a world champion in Dem Richards. Although I think that's what we have to expect from Richards. Back foot, he's moving the same. More than a, a flash opportunity to land it, and he lands it with such force when he does do that. And he said, We've got to judge the distance as well. He said, You look at Bivol, he uses that just coming with a counter of his own. His body shot downstairs there. Your distance is trying to keep out the way of the fighter coming forward. Low as well, isn't it? A little bit slow and a little bit low. It's a jab to the head, and then so too did Bivol. He's getting his own jab going pretty effectively here in this second here in this second round, Bivol. Oh, he that, that, talked about the mistakes he makes. It's got to work. Everything for Richards is going to come off that. It's all too easy. Opponent feels that power. It gives them the extra time that they need to go to work. But he finished him off with a left hook. Good job. Good job. Now that was better. He got through with the follow-up right hand. A good little spell there for Richards, but Bivol is straight back on him and pushes him back up to the ring. Bivol only around about the six-foot mark, and he's doing so well, Bivol, to try and out. Good job there for Bivol. Yeah, he, he noticed as well. Chris is just... He's out of range. 30 seconds of this uh, fourth round. Don't lose your shape. Don't come up too high. You're going to get caught with this. That was before even my time, that one. <laughs> you mentioned Bob Foster and what I can target the body area of Bivoli. I don't think I haven't seen him throwing any body shots yet. Oh, there are other opportunities there, but Richard's not able to. He's probably wary of dropping into range and just walking straight onto a right hand because Bivoli throws it with no tail whatsoever. It's better though from Richards. And, and he threw it really well. It landed and it. it he landed it very well, you know, the rest... We're looking at a scenario here, a little bit like with Joe Smith Jr, where if he can land one of those right hands clean on the... Switch down. It's going to be in a matter of time before he has to start throwing that shot because Richards is doing lightly and then Richards starts moving to, to the other way, in the other direction. Yeah, the more time... Yeah, and it's more of the same here for Bivol. Look for the right hand there and uh, it didn't land. Shot of yours until it's ready, until it's there, don't give him a taste of it. He had the last word there, Richards, but... Uh, first couple of rounds, you've got it in your artillery. Let it go and do it. Yeah, yeah, Craig Richards is not winning this one on points. There's no way. Bivol is comfortable and in... Bivol's also good, again, because of his old amateur pedigree and amateur experience. He lands a jab, he'll knock the head back. The uh, backhand in there as well. Bivol. Well, going. Just wait and let Bivol dictate, which he has done for the previous seven rounds. Just bubbling under at the moment. Only talking three or four, and he's being the aggressor, and he's dictating the pace as he is now, and that's been the difference. And See if that changes things up a little bit, but you know, I'm criticizing Richards. I just think he'll criticize himself when he watches it back. I think it's probably been his best round, in my opinion, so far. Um, concealed weapon, this if you've noticed. His back hasn't touched the ropes once, he hasn't been near them. There you go, that's probably the closest he's been so far, but he's keeping the set. There's a lot missing from both. Body from from Bibol there, but mainly they both headhunted. Stiff jab there, broad at any stage, not look majorly hurt at any stage. Nice right hand there. Yeah. Foot down here, roll the dice, right hand counter comes in, but to keep it on him now, Bibol. Well, Richards landed the solid shot downstairs, which we haven't seen. He's disappointed if he does end up losing this Richards. He'll learn so much from it. Lands on the button, but he's, he's in a firefight here. Yeah, Bivol looking. I'd like to see Richards just tighten the body. Bivol's comfortable from Richards. That's what I'd like to see a bit more of. He's comfortable because he's not expecting. Yeah, good right time. Before, I'm not being critical of Richards. I'm just saying he'll watch this back and if he doesn't get. The 11th round, still looking for a way to try and break through against this unbeaten. Been be brilliant for him. Positive, coming forward, attacking. Oh, lovely from Bibble. Again, the flashy finish in the last few seconds. Because at the midway point of this fight, Bibble had a big, big lead. At the moment, there's just no real work ethic or work rate from him. But he does more than enough early on in the, in the, in the start, the first and the, and the middle four. Trying to land that left hook. Takes a couple of... People say, but listen, Craig Richards tonight has, has, has proved that he can mix it at, at a level. Room to work. And that'll do it. 
Well, Richard have had the success I had late on a little bit earlier to make someone tire late. Who reflects in how you read the fight, Paul Smith, but Bebo had put enough in the bank, but Richard's pushed him so.